Hey y'all, I'm back already. It's Tuesday the 14th of November and I'm back so soon because I received some uh, what we call VCLT or what we... Okay, so back when the vinyl community first started and it was really hopping, people started to trade and give stuff to each other and I just, I called it the vinyl community love train and it caught on. So when people send me stuff, um, I get stuff to, re stuff to review, but people still send me music as gifts. And so um, I received some BCLT yesterday, and I'm going to show it to you. I want to shout out to the young man who, um, I watched his video, I forget his name already, but he posted in my last video that he'd started making videos inspired by me. I watched him. I just want to encourage him and all other VC members or people that like to make videos Make your videos and don't be concerned about whether or not I watch them or, or, or whether or not anyone watches them. Just do your thing. I know I don't ask anyone to watch these videos. I'd make them because I want to, okay? You watch them because you want to. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My motivation for making the videos and watching them has changed since the beginning. And I am absolutely doing what it is I want to do. I'm talking to you rather than me sitting here watching videos all day. That is not what I want to do. So let's get going here with um, what was sent to me. So I forgot in the last video to share that uh, over the weekend, I received a package from a fellow named Mauricio Alvarado. Mauricio apparently follows my, not apparently, but he follows my channel. We're friends on Facebook, so I see his pictures. Mauricio is a big music head, and he's in business as a pin maker. And he is making pins for the big names. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I am, Mauricio, you recently got um, uh, jobs with Black Sabbath and Iron Maiden um, making official product for them, didn't you? Well, he told me also the same was regarding Gentle Giant, that he got their okay to do a pin, and he wanted to send me one, so he sent it to me. Isn't that awesome? Gentle Giant pin. How can I get this to focus? Pretty badass. But he sent me two more. Thank you so much, Mauricio. These are really high-quality pens, people. They're heavy. They're really well-made Zap, Roger and Zap. I appreciate this one because apparently uh, Mauricio has paid attention to me. Years ago, when Roger was still alive, I got to work with the band Zap. I was just a, I was just a stage um, personnel, helping with the monitors. But um, because of my nature, uh, I just ignore um, that um, pecking order. You know, I don't can see myself low. I just do what I want. So I was all over backstage hanging out with the bands, eating their food and stuff, and Roger was way cool with it. He encouraged me. <laughs> so I got a Zap pin, and this is probably, in my opinion, the best of them. Well, the General Giant pin is amazing. This one is too, a magma pin, attack. Thank you so much, Mauricio. As well as that, I got two packages in the mail yesterday. I'll start with the, first, the, 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 the smaller one from you, Gary. It's easier to talk about. Gary, Gary, ten, two sticks, follower, um, apparently a fellow musician. I looked at his Facebook page. I don't, I don't, um, um, I don't look at other people's stuff that much, you know, um, but I see that Gary, you are a musician as well. I didn't quite figure that at first, but he really wanted me to have this Captain Beefheart album. Now I've meant to poll. I have most of Captain Beefheart's albums. Primarily, I have them because of their significance. I very seldom listen to Captain B part, but he really is, um, Gary, Gary, Gary really likes this one, Blue Jeans and Moonbeams. I started to play it yesterday. I couldn't get through it. Um, this is one of the Captain B part albums I don't like, be, don't have because I don't like it. But Gary tells me to give it a chance. It's something that really resonates with him. So I'm going to try again. But when I played it yesterday, it was like, ugh, ugh. And you know, Gary, not to take that personally. That's my response to the music, not to you, okay? Let me qualify this. 
Captain Beefheart was highly influenced and inspired to start by the bluesman Howlin' Wolf, which is who he kind of sounds like. When it comes to the blues, Howlin' Wolf is probably one of my favorites. But Captain Beefheart, what I like about them is when they mutated. It's not when they're playing the blues. It's when they mutated. That's what I like. And this one is pretty bluesy. And so that just that just shuts me off like right away. Just so you know, Gary, I'll try again. I received another package though yesterday from Anthony Ferraro, another big music uh, head who posts on Facebook a lot. We have a lot of tastes in common. He went to some really good shows this year and shared some things with me, blowing me away, actually. He sent me three discs. We'll start with Brand X. But wait, there's more. Live 2017. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Anthony got to see this tour and probably bought this at the merch table. I'm blown away that you share this with me, Anthony. Double disc. This is a band that um, um, Phil Collins of Genesis started as a side project because he couldn't get Genesis to, to go jazzy enough for him. This is really good stuff. And these are great performances. I haven't listened to both discs yet. I've listened to most of the first one. And um, considering how long ago they made these records and how old the guys are, we are old, all of us are now, they're kicking butt. I wanted to show that I don't have all the records, but I have Brand X. Bought this when it came out. Unorthodox behavior. I was underwhelmed by it at first. It took a while for me to, under, to get to get what they were trying to do. Moroccan roll. And then even after Phil Collins left and Kenwood Denard got, got involved on the drums, like on this one, uh, Livestock, great band, great, great instrumental music. Masks, Brand X. Great players, Percy Jones, the bass player is a monster world-class bass player who's worked with everyone and his bass playing is absolutely distinct as soon as he does certain things with his fretless you know it's Percy no one else plays like him not that dissimilar to Mick Karn of Japan his um his approach um what's the name of this one? product product brand X product they are is there anything about Brand X? Good stuff. And do they hurt? All these albums have something to speak of. And then I have this one. Um, Brand X on uh, a 20-year... Um, the X-Files, a 20-year retrospective. So I really enjoyed the Brand X yesterday, and I'm going to listen to more of it today. This, this, is, this is my wheelhouse. Okay. I'll save the one that I'm really enjoying the most last. All three are mind blowers. The next one is, is mind blowing. John McLaughlin with the fourth dimension live at Ronnie Scott's. John McLaughlin is, is as I said in a few um, videos back, John McLaughlin, one of the premier guitar players from England. Um, back in the day, in the 60s, he was a peer to Jimmy Page and Big Jim. I forget Jim's last name. When it came to um, studio guitar playing, John McLaughlin can play anything. This is amazing for a man in his 70s to play with so much fire on this. Um, I, and I just looked on uh, Facebook this morning and a friend of mine is traveling to Chicago Friday to see the John McLaughlin, Jimmy Henry Herring thing. He's offered me a ride and an extra ticket. I'm not gonna go for a number of reasons. Um, I really appreciate the offer, but um, a road trip to Chicago just for a concert, hell no. Let me just show a few. I've got a few John McLaughlin albums. John McLaughlin has a, John McLaughlin has a lot of records and I've only got s some of his music, but I'll, this is what I can pull. Mahavishnu Orchestra, Intermounting Flame. You must know this music. Game Changer, like Bitches Brew. Game Changer. Birds of Fire, oh my God, what an album. Oh my God, what energy, what energy. 
then they capture it almost on this live album between nothingness and eternity this album sizzles with the energy just amazing interplay of the band this version of Mahabishnu Orchestra I got to see um, the second version Apocalypse with uh, Narada Michael Walden and Jean-Luc Ponty on violin it was a great show and this is a great show it's really cool that John McLaughlin is playing uh, Earthrise or Eternity whichever the name it is but off up here he's playing it now in concert Visions of the Emerald Beyond great album Inner Worlds this one is uh, less consistent of those but once again it has its merits Mahavishnu once again with Mitchell Foreman, Jonas Helborg, Bill Evans and Billy Cobham um, this is actually much better than you you know when people get later in their careers you know how it goes don't you you can never keep the original intensity, but this is still good. The best of Mahavishnu Orchestra. You know, if you can find this, grab that. Anything by Mahavishnu Orchestra. Here's an early solo album of his with Buddy Miles on drums. Devotion. Larry Young on organ. Miles was listening to this stuff, you know, as he prepared to do Bitches Brew. He was checking out these other musicians. Um... Tony Williams and these guys influenced um, McLaughlin, I mean Miles as much as Miles influenced them. Extrapolation, early McLaughlin with, is it Tony Oxley on drums? Yeah, this is really good. John Sermon whew, on, um, on um, baritone and soprano sax. Extrapolation, fantastic. Where Fortune Smiles. I used to have an original copy on the Dawn label, but it's a great album, so I'm glad that I sold it. I, Here's a reissued great album, Where Fortune Smiles. Again with um, Dave Holland and John Sermon. He, he's played with the best. Here I have a couple copies of it. Here's an original of My Goals Beyond. This is one of my all-time top, I don't know if you could have to, it's hard to make top 25, 50 albums, but this is definitely in it. Piece one and piece two on here I could repeat 24 hours. This is, this is what turns me on. Real music, not entertainment. And here's another version of it. Um, My Goals Beyond, a reissue of it with a different cover. Shakti, another fantastic um, collaboration he did. Um, fusing Indian with Western. Uh, working with El Shankar and Zakir Hussein. I've never met John McLaughlin. I've seen him live twice I've had a conversation with him via email he actually responded to my uh, email this was years ago I've met Zakir Hussein and had had a long wonderful uh, dinner with Zakir Hussein and he was so so kind and patient with me because I was such a nerd asking all these stupid questions about all the people he's worked with and he answered them all the other Shakti album a handful of beauty and it truly is this is this is the, the stuff this is the sort of thing that I am interested in not faith no more faith no more hasn't made a record I would consider never would never consider buying uh, the trio McLaughlin Al Demiro and Paco de Lucia passion grace and fire Ooh, just like it says okay oh another Shakti album natural elements I need to put keep those all together Natural Elements. Fantastic music. I love this album by John McLaughlin. Music spoken here. I've only got three more on vinyl. I've got more on the computer and on CD because, like I said, when I quit my um, job, I quit it and I called myself retiring, but I made a point by walking out of my job. It was my retirement, but I made a point. And so since then, I don't have a lot of disposable income to keep up with these musicians. That's why when people will ask me, well, you should get so-and-so, I don't have money to buy records with. This is all from when I was working. McLaughlin and the One Truth Band. I love this album. I play this a lot on the radio, actually. Um, Electric Dreams. The track Miles Davis on here is badass. Another great John McLaughlin album. Johnny McLaughlin, electric guitarist. Man. And Below Horizonte. There's not a bad album amongst these. 
besides seeing Mahavishnu Orchestra, I saw John McLaughlin on this tour with Katya and Maria, Maria Lebeck and Tommy Campbell on drums. When the show was over, I stuck around trying to meet people, and I didn't get to meet John McLaughlin, I got to meet Tommy Campbell. So, once again, well, that was a lot, wasn't it? But just to show you that this is my wheelhouse, this is what I like, not KISS. Thank you, Anthony. And the last, the, the cream of the cake, and I'm still absorbing it, all of them, he, he sent me King Crimson live in Chicago from the, this year. This is amazing. This is truly the mind blower of the three so far. I mean, truly. To hear the uh, this version of King Crimson um, doing Lizard, the Lizard Suite, you were right, Anthony. Circus, Jacko Jaxic. This is a monster. This could indeed be one of the best versions of King Crimson ever. This is dynamite. This is so powerful. I was like, wow. And I have some King Crimson. I don't have as much King Crimson as I would like. Okay. But obviously I have this. This is a must-have, in my opinion. Or this is a must-hear. There are certain records that I think that people... Like people think that the Velvet Underground is something that you ought to hear. I agree with that, but if you're, if you're going to hear that, you need to hear this, okay? Good God, come on. In the wake of Poseidon. Fantastic. Lizard. This is the one where, when I saw King Crimson, they didn't do songs off of this. They're doing this now. Love this album. John Anderson from Yes is on here. Islands. Another quiet, under... Under... Um, underappreciated King Crimson album, Islands. Of course, this is this is the deal breaker. Lark's Tongues and Aspect. When this came out in 1973, it blew my mind and everyone I knew. All my music friends blew our minds. Starless and Bible Black, hell yes. Then the other monster, Red. Oh yeah. King Crimson USA. Then I have Beat. Discipline, three of a perfect pair. I've got more on CD. I have one of their box sets. This is the stuff, okay? This is the stuff that I love, okay? There's always so much to say, but the, the, the video is getting long now and it's going to take a while to upload. Anthony, Gary, uh, Mauricio, thank you so much for your kindness and for understanding me and sending me good shit. 